To balance this equation, aluminum sulfate plus potassium hydroxide, let's count the atoms up on each side of the equation. And we're going to do something a little different here to make it a lot easier. We see that we have SO4, this is called the sulfate ion, here and here. So we're just going to count that as one thing. Same goes for the hydroxide ion. We have an OH here and here. So we're just going to count that as one item. In doing that, it'll just make it a lot easier to add everything up and keep track of the atoms. Let's do it. Two aluminums three sulfates, one potassium, and one hydroxide. On the product side, one aluminum, one sulfate, two potassiums, and three hydroxides. Let's start by balancing our aluminums first. We have two here and one here. So we could put a coefficient of two in front of the aluminum hydroxide, one times two. That gives us two, the aluminums are balanced. Then we have our three hydroxides times two, That'll give us six of those. Why don't we fix the hydroxide? Since we have six here and one here, that's going to change the K as well. So we have one hydroxide times six. That gives us six of those. They're balanced. And then we have one times six for the potassium. We have six potassiums. Might as well try to balance the potassiums next. That might even fix the sulfates, the SO4. If we put a three in front of the potassium sulfate, 2 times 3, that would give us 6. So the potassium is balanced. 3, it applies to everything. We have 1 sulfate on SO4 times the 3. That gives us 3, and it does fix it. And now we're done. This equation is balanced. So the key here, really, if you count this SO4 as one item, or this OH as just one item, as long as it appears on both sides of the equation, that'll make it much easier to balance. You can count all the atoms up individually and you'll get the same answer. It'll just take you a little bit longer. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for Al2SO43 plus KOH, aluminum sulfate plus potassium hydroxide. Thanks for watching.